as the Dodgers and Giants get set for the first seven inning game. We do not know who is starting game two of the doubleheader, but for game one, it will be Clayton Kershaw. Walker Buehler goes on the injured list with a blister on his right throwing hand. Right-hander Mitch White gets recalled from the minor leagues. Right-handed pitcher Mitch White is a possibility to start game two of the Dodgers doubleheader in San Francisco, which would mark the major league debut for the 25-year-old who grew up in nearby San Jose, the location where White's parents, John and Haley, will be nervously watching the game since COVID-19 is preventing them from being at Oracle Park in person. Certainly is not the way that we envisioned his, where we might his be. His debut. Yeah, his yeah. debut. We, we didn't, we thought we'd be sitting in one of those bleachers, but here we are. Every step of the way, it's, it's just, I'm, we're just so proud of him. You know, he, he's just, whatever he's doing, this is a huge stage, but. Uh, it's a dream come true. But it's a dream really. come true mm -hmm. for, for all of us. Mm -hmm. um, to, to try to encapsulate the feeling, it, it's the, just huge excitement. This is really a cathartic mm -hmm. to be able to talk about it. Usually you keep it in and um, yeah, we're kind of jumping out of our skin. Yes, and we have our little superstitions and you oh, know, yeah. we have our little routines. And I have my lucky necklace neck. and my lucky earrings on. Mitchell and Spencer, my other son, older son, got it for me, special. And, and I wear it for every game. <laughs> started playing baseball like most boys, you know, in Little League started in around five, six, and then around eight, nine is when he started to get more serious. And he actually started pitching right from the beginning and he loved it. From that point on, it, it was pretty much his passion. I coached uh, with his uncle Mike, and you know that was part of it with us. That was our relationship too. Is that we spent it was really good one-on-one -on -one time with he and I. So I, I think that really helped in his love of baseball because it was something we could share. Mitch continued playing in high school at nearby Bellarmine Prep, but injuries limited his playing time and recruiting interest. I was pretty banged up a lot of high school. I mean, I probably threw 20, 30 innings in, in high school baseball, and it was mostly travel ball that I got seen a little bit. That's when he met Gabe Rebus. In my first year, I remember seeing Mitchell, and I remember watching him throw a pen and being like, that guy has the best secondary pitch that I've seen in the state of California. And we kind of started chatting and obviously keeping in touch, and then over the course of the recruitment, he obviously gave me the offer, and I mean, I was probably 16 or 17 at the time. Then he needed to have Tommy John in his senior year of high school. That, I think, was a nervous time for us. You know, we had to swallow deep and honor a scholarship for a guy that wasn't gonna pitch for a year. My boss asked me what I thought, and I said, you know, we could lose out on him, and my fear is that we'd lose out on the best guy to ever pitch at Santa Clara, and a guy who I believe, like, really could be a major leaguer down the road. It's weird going through that process having done nothing. Like, I had nothing to, to rest back on. I wasn't, like, a proven guy that was doing this and would come right back. There were still a lot of question marks for sure. Um, and I think I kind of just channeled that into the rehab and the work. He immediately endeavored into the mindset of what can I take away from this red shirt year, from this surgery that's going to make me better. Honestly, that year laid an unbelievable foundation for what Mitch ended up becoming. I need you to step up today. I need you to step up today. I need each one. I need you to be better than you were last night. That's not the guy that we run out there, okay? I need you to be the best that you've been, all right? At Santa Clara, the bond between Rebus and White grew stronger, and Mitch's skills continued to improve. 
I think he was a huge part in me just kind of developing on a not at all, not even baseball side, but like just as a person. Stockton's in the house. He was a great guiding force for me. What would be his sophomore year, he was our dominant closer. And it just, the stuff would overwhelm people in that role. Yeah. And then he transitioned into being a starter. And, you know, he did some really special things his junior year. Toward the end, he started to uptick and uptick and uptick. And once the velocity came, the scouts started coming a little bit. And then the whole draft process, I guess, was kind of interesting because at the start, I was like a fringy kind of guy. But with that little bump, teams started to take notice. Good evening. On behalf of Major League Baseball, it is an honor to welcome everyone to the MLB Network for our 2016 draft. We were hearing anything really from like the third to the fifth round. So we weren't, none of us were sure that it was gonna happen. So I was like, all right, whatever, we'll have it on in the side. Or I don't even think I had it on in the side, actually. It was like, all right, I'll worry about this tomorrow. The Philadelphia Phillies are on the clock. The Los Angeles Dodgers select Will Smith. He said, he said, pick him. So it was me and my buddy, we played, we were playing Call of Duty. And he was apparently playing Call of Duty, right? Yes, he was playing video, he was playing video games. And then I got a call from my agent. He was like, hey, uh, what are you doing right now? You might want to start uh, checking out the TV. And I'm like, oh, all right, let's check it out. And then all, before I knew it, it was like, White? First baseman. All right. We'd like to select Mitchell White from Santa Clara University in California. Toronto Blue Jays are on the clock. It was special, especially because of my grandpa, I'd say. So my grandpa came over in the 60s from South Korea. Him and then my mom was nine years old at the time, and he kind of didn't really have any roots. And the Dodgers were the one team that he could watch. He loved baseball always. He's the one person that, I mean, he's no longer with us, but he would be, he would be so happy, so amazed to be, to see this happening, right? And this is what uh, my dad just lived and breathed it. And it was like the soundtrack of our life growing up, right? The Dodgers games were always on every single night. In fact, my mother was talking about this yesterday. She would take the box scores, because he's working, and then report what happened in the game. To think that if my dad knew that he was he was on the Dodgers roster and he could be debuting any time now, he would just be uh, over the moon. Since being drafted four years ago, White has steadily ascended through the Dodger organization, and he's also been reunited with an influential figure. I was with the Dodgers for one year, and I started getting calls from Gabe Kapler, our farm director at the time, and he was like, hey, what do you, what do you got on this uh, Rebus guy? What do, you, what do you think about him? I was like, obviously, I was um, all about it, and I was saying, oh, he's a great guy, blah, blah, not really thinking anything of it. And then before you knew it, he was my boss again, <laughs> and we're back together. I thought about the chance to continue to work with Mitch and the chance to be with people I know and care about. And it just seemed like a really natural fit to come on with the Dodgers. Kennedy sets up outside. 3-2. Swing and a miss strike three. Looked like the slider. What I realized really quickly is like this relationship that Mitch and I have is really unique and I needed to you know, proceed accordingly. He's in a different place. He's a different human. He's had different coaches. I'm not, I don't have the magic pill. I have a lot of runway with him, but um, it was important that I like get out of his way too, just like parents have to do with their own children. This is our COVID stadium right here. <laughs> yes, it is. Normally we'd be out at some ballpark. Right. Somewhere, but Actually, you know what? Actually, you watch him right behind um, the, the their dugout and we have a certain seat we always text him something it's almost exactly oh the yeah same. every day every, every single game. outing have a great outing um go get him love you 
Giants coming to bat for the first time. And Caleb Ferguson will take it for probably the first inning, maybe the first inning plus on a bullpen game. White doesn't get the start in game two of the doubleheader, and it becomes clear to his parents as the game progresses that they will need to wait at least one more day for their son's debut. He struck him out, and the Dodgers sweep this doubleheader. They get shutouts in both games. It's over. That's a wrap. OK, I'm told okay. we have to wait another, another. All right, Dave. Bye for now. This is actually uh, uh, his invite jersey. Um, he got invited to camp, big league camp, in uh, 2019. And being a good son, he he gave it to me. He definitely lets uh, us participate. We've had these chilled for I don't know how many years now. Four years, right? This was made by our dear friend. Kelly Berman, whose son Stevie Berman and Mitchell got drafted same year. And so she had these made so when they made their debuts, we could pop them open. And it's hopefully we can pop it pretty soon, right? It's nerve wracking, first of all. And, you know, it's like the heart paces, you know, like. But at the same time, it's like we, we, we have to kind of trust that it's going to happen. And, and, and when, we don't know, but when it happens, we're ready. We're definitely ready, and he's ready. Game time. With the Dodgers now in Texas, Mitch White's parents are still waiting for their son to make his major league debut after he was promoted to the Dodgers' active roster a day ago. Oh Let's see gosh. the first pitch. Okay. Oh. Off we go with a strike to Mookie Betts. I think it's settled in as more of uh, a when, not if kind of thing, and that may be overstating it, but so if there is that calm, we're just kind of, okay, let's, let's, um, we did let's it we're looking for that situation while we want to see him, see him come in. I wish they'd give us a shot of the whole pun. Wow. I know. I just want to see him. I know. Here we go. Nice. It's a nervous time, exciting time, but it's also yeah, a very retrospective time because you look back, no matter what happens right on, out there, this has been a great experience. We have been tied together for a long time now. And so to be part of these moments with him from the time he was like 15, making his commitment to us, to going through the Tommy John, to watching these outings, to being in the draft and then how our relationship has evolved as professionals as well. It's its just been special. May's first pitch of the sixth is inside to Nick Solak. Two, three, and four coming up for the Rangers. May looks real efficient, even though they're down by two. So two, a little tight, um, you know, to see him come in. Um, I think he could handle it, but I understand Dave's point of view. He's going to want veterans in there. Uh, it's a tight game. Got to win. But yeah, I'm concerned about him getting in at this point. Cracks one off the end of the bat to short. There's Taylor. And that's the inning. A little less pressure than yesterday. I hope he feels good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's and the I hope he's that's soaking it in. Yeah. Enjoy the moment. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I like that situation too. I, don't, I think, you know. Yeah, you want to see him go in, but you want to see him go in in the right situation so he can ease into it, make a, you know, just flow into it. There's obviously certain situations where you kind of expect, all right, I'm probably not going in in a, you know, one run ball game in the ninth inning. That's not going to happen. Um, but I mean, this situation was pretty interesting because I mean in the seventh inning it was a really close game it was a one run game. Joely Rodriguez sets and fires and Turner pulls one to left sinking quickly down for a base hit. Heineman up with it. Here's oh, his throw wow. home way off there we line go. and this game is tied. <laughs> Justin Turner with a two out base hit to left to score Seeger. Wow. Yeah. This so is what happened. Probably wants to make it. 
And let, let's have a six one as a Well. I don't think they're going to do the setup. They would, he wouldn't have them. No, no, I don't think so. Brand new game, tied at two. And Dave Roberts turns it over to the bullpen in the bottom of the seventh. Dietrich flies one deep the other way. Pollock going back, and the Rangers retake the lead just like that. Unfortunately, we kind of let it slip a little bit, and there was kind of a window, and it was at that point where I was sitting in the pen and kind of realized, oh, wait, I should be ready. This could be it. Phone that is blown up. Is blown up from our friends that have seen Mitch warming up in the pen. But we are only in the bottom of the seventh, and mm -hmm. we're like at yeah. least half an inning behind because it is a streaming video situation. Yeah. What are we gonna do? They were telling me they're on a stream that was delayed for whatever reason, so they were getting calls from other people in my family, and they're like, "Oh my God, he's in." Okay, we're live now. Talk. Thank you so much, Gary. <laughs> Thanks for the call, Gary, Kelly. Bye. That's our support. That's our support system. Got him swinging on a changeup at 92, and we go to the bottom of the eighth, 6-2 game. Immediately, it's just like a shot of adrenaline to the chest. Part of our uh, bullpen coach is like, Mitch, it's you. So it's like, boom, go time. Let's go. Mitchell White in what would be his Major League debut. Breathe deep. Mm -hmm. One pitch. V the jelly in the surf. There you go. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I can't. But, uh, but that's, that's, this is when, when he was out there, whatever situation, he, uh, that, those were his number, words. I think he was so number 19. I always, I always look at that. Year. This is live cap, sweaty, smelly. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, one of my treasures, definitely. Dodgers down 6-2 to the bottom of the eighth. Mitch White makes his major league debut. This is him. That's him. All right. Woo. Oh, my God, Mitch. Mitch White. All right. Here okay, we go. Okay, it's my All right, phone bud. calling. Oh, my God. Let's go, Mitch. Hold on. First batter that he faces, Derek Dietrich takes ball one. When it actually starts and I'm in my delivery, I start feeling like a little shaky. Like in my head, I'm fine. Like I, I wasn't scared, nervous or anything, but it's literally like my legs are shaking. And it was like, oh geez, here we go. Um, and it, it's just, it's funny. Cause I mean, the first couple of pitches I threw, I was just spraying. I was a little all over the place and it was kind of wild. Um, but it's just a matter of kind of bringing that down trying to use some breathing techniques or some crazy weird whatever meditation i don't know to relax and get the body into a good place that's a pop fly shallow left center field taylor with a call and the catch wow that's him that's him I, hold on. <laughs> wow Off the end of the bat to right, base hit Kiner Falefa, his second tonight. There was that little blooper over second base, and I was in the stretch. And then once I once he stole and was on second, I remember consciously thinking, like, I'm coming set, and I can feel it. I can feel the shakes, like, what's going on? The nerves are coming. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna mess with him. All right. Fly ball, shallow center field. Caught by Betts, two out. Two down. Get comfortable. Ah, how do you get comfortable like, going in Come on, like this? You can do this, honey. That's a walk, two on with two out. It was after that, first, that next A.B., that walk, and I was like, all right, you know what? I need to bear down, I need to go. Top of the order for Chu. Strike him out. Strike him out. Let's go. Strike one. I'm rooting for an out. It's a better memory. You know, your first big league inning without giving up a run. Here we go. Throw a grounder. 
Just a little bit up, full count. Oh, come on. Oh. I mean, I've thrown to Will Smith all the time coming up. I kind of had a feeling, all right, here's here's another three, here's another slider. Um, so I was ready for it, and as soon as he did it, I didn't want to. I didn't want to sit in the stretch too much because that's the like that's the nerves, that's the feeling. It's like, get it and go. Now a three-two, swings and misses. Yes! Yes! A scoreless yes! debut for oh, Mitch yeah! White. <laughs> All right, that's my boy. That's my boy. He's hey. This is what he does. All right, that'll give him something to think about. All right. It was awesome, especially to be able to walk off and just finish, you know, finish strong. Um, that was the best part, for sure. Heck yeah. Good job, Mom. Oh, did it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gabe Rebus. I'm, Gabe. I'm in tears. Yeah, and he's, a, and he's an emotional Crowd guy. maybe just scratches the surface of it. Mitch will always be more important to me as a human being than a player. And, um, you know, it's different when when your families are involved. The kid has sat at our dinner table and held both of our children and and his parents, you know, they always seek me out. And it's just a special thing that I'm not sure how many coaches and players ever get to go through where it's like beginning, like really to the end of, of you know, the player development journey. It's been super fulfilling. And here's my brother. Hi, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking right now. I mean. Your nephew's a Dodger MLB yeah, player. Oh my gosh. Show. Oh, I cannot believe how what a full circle this is if my dad was watching this. Can you imagine how elated he would be? He would just die. Oh, he he would be beaming, screaming, beaming. literally beaming, screaming, trying to jump up and down. I do wish he was here, or at least could have seen it on TV. It's kind of sad in that respect. But just watching him, like ever since I was in All Stars in the Little League games or in high school games, I mean, he loved coming out to those games. I think that was special enough for him. It would have been great for him to be here for this, but having my grandma around and knowing that she loved it and I think it was really emotional for her as well I think that's enough ready all right cheers cheers oh, congrats congrats oh where's your hair we're supposed to do it like this oh I don't know yeah well it's bad <laughs> it tastes great it tastes great no this is actually it's a little it's okay. No, I mean, there's <laughs> nothing oh, that would here. spoil the champagne right now. Mm. <laughs> nothing. On the next Backstage Dodgers, another highly touted prospect prepares for his major league shot at the team's alternate training site. Oh, God. Got it. Got it.